their, their, their mosquito population. They don't even have a yard. It's all concrete. <laughs> you know, and you know, you know, it's like a major pot uh, mosquito area when there's just nothing but concrete for a backyard. <laughs> you know, or you look at this house. It's like a breeding ground. The neighbors must hate this house. Let me see another property. See how much uh, yard they have. The only way you can really correct. A mosquito breeding is just eliminate all the growth. Well, this property, uh, you know, is possible. Flower pots, like your flower pots that don't drain out the bottom, like here. These flower pots, you have people, you know, they're, they're around the house and they're full of water. And the mosquitoes will breed right in there. See? This little pan here. You know, if it's just sitting for a period of time, look at that. Just standing water, and uh, the mosquitoes will breed right into that and start biting you. And you're thinking, you know, you're like, oh, how do we get all the mosquitoes? And then, like, the mosquitoes are breeding right, right next to you. You're not even aware. So I put that in my report. You know, I put that in my report. I don't know if people really listen. Uh, I put it in my report. They kind of help. Look at that. They just need to throw this out. It's worthless. It's a swimming pool for uh, it's a swimming pool for mosquitoes. So, I'm going to spray the trees, spray the, uh, <laughs> the shed. Hey, everything else is going to be, I'm going to kill everything else. You know, spiders. <laughs> crickets, you can hear all the crickets. And uh, the trash. You know, I look at the trash area where they keep the trash. There should be lids. This one has a lid, but these recyclables don't. And that's going to attract bees. Especially pig season, you want to kind of help prevent that. And here you see all along the front, you see, uh, you know, like a tree, but you really as a homeowner need to keep everything kind of clean. 